Hi, this video communication is to share with you some information about previous use of corticosteroids or any such immunosuppressive medicine that you may have taken for the treatment of say chronic urticaria or lichen planus or psoriasis or vitiligo or even ulcerative colitis or nephrotic syndrome. In my practice I come across large number of patients who have used corticosteroids as an immunosuppressive measure for a range of diseases which I mentioned. When you start the use of corticosteroids in the form of either a local application on skin or oral tablets or the injection, you get drastic relief or improvement in your problem and you are very happy. However, invariably what happens is that on stopping the use of corticosteroids or when the effect of corticosteroid is over, the disease comes back. Most patients do not realize this fact. Now, if simply the disease comes back, we are not really that much worried. But the problem comes when the disease resurfaces after the use of corticosteroids. It comes back with little more intensity than before. Not only that, but it becomes more difficult to treat with the regular medicine. So, in our experience, we always recommend that try to avoid the use of corticosteroids for most of the conditions that I have mentioned. Now, before you come to us, if you, if you already used corticosteroids, then probably this is the time that your disease might resurface. And apparently, when you start with homeopathy, and when the disease resurfaces, there is a likelihood that you might feel that your disease has come back or has been aggravated because of the use of corticosteroids. Actually, that is not the truth. The truth is that your disease was anyway to resurface and around the time you have started with homeopathic treatment. So, as a patient, you must realize that whenever you stop corticosteroids, the disease is going to come back. It is going to uh, come back with little more intensity and it would be possibly more difficult to treat. Keeping this information in mind, you should start homeopathy and be prepared to reduce the use of corticosteroids very systematically under the care of your physician who may have prescribed to you corticosteroids. After starting homeopathy treatment, it is possible to reduce corticosteroid or you will see that the need for corticosteroid will become less day by day. However, if you have taken corticosteroids recently and if your, if your disease is resurfacing and if you are starting homeopathy, there is a possibility that you may have to take corticosteroid one more time or maybe two more times depending on the, the intensity and the nature of your disease. It is not that after starting homeopathy, you will be able to stop using steroids forever. Uh, I would like you to keep, keep in mind, uh, besides Corticosteroid has its own set of side effects. The information is available on my website, you can read or you can check with your doctors to know more about the use of corticosteroids. This information about corticosteroids uh, is similar to uh, the use of other immunosuppressive medicines such as methotrexate for, for psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis, for cyclosporin for the use of nephrotic syndrome and such other medicines like cyclophosphamide in case of nephrotic syndrome. So, please do remember this, this uh, information because once your effect of the corticosteroid will be over and when the disease will resurface, that time you will be reminded that this information was shared with you uh, by Dr. Shah. I hope it helped. this helps. Thank you so much and wish you good luck.